October 16th up here in Kingfield, Maine. Got another one to show this morning. This one I'm pretty stoked about. I love these Harmony Sovereigns. These natural ones are just turning into one of my favorite restorations. This is a 60s model Sovereign H1203 that I picked up that was really clean. I mean, there are no cracks on it anywhere, all the way around. And I did my resto mod process on this one. So this is a real beauty. Weighs in at three pounds, eight ounces. So really lightweight. I mean, you just pick it up and you can tell this is going to have a lot of sound coming out of it. So I got a hold of this. I did my usual process. For those of you guys that have watched my videos before, um, sorry, this is all a repeat for people that are seeing it for the first time. I'll give it the quick rundown. Harmony H1203 Sovereign were made 60s, 50s and 60s into about 75 or so when Harmony finally closed up shop. Harmony was one of those Chicago makers that made for all kinds of the department stores. The Silvertone line was Sears. The airline line was Montgomery Ward. This is just your basic Harmony Sovereign itself. Look at that headstock, still in mint condition. Solid spruce top, solid mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, Rosewood fretboard, and in the 60s, pretty good chance it was probably Brazilian rosewood. Originally would have had a string through bridge back here on the back. Um, they had kind of a problem in that they would tend to lift and they pulled up a lot. They always need a neck reset by now. Um, they do have a truss rod in them. It's got a two piece, three sixteenths inch, uh, I have a hard time saying that, steel bar that has a nut at the top. Um, they were ladder braced. Kind of barky, nice sound. Nothing wrong with ladder brace guitars. I've got a 1938 recording king up here that I absolutely love. It's like the Robert Johnson special. But X bracing seems to provide a more well-rounded sound, better sustain. So that's what I do in my process. So ladder bracing has been removed. X brace, 88 degrees at the center X, sitting about an inch and a quarter back from the sound hole. So slightly forward shifted. Two tone bars on the belly, tone bar on each side. Single transverse brace underneath with no popsicle stick underneath the uh, fretboard extension. Hard rock maple bridge plate underneath. Got rid of the big giant spruce one that went all the way across. Now it's got one the size of the bridge itself. Tenth of an inch thick rock maple, main maple. Um, carved a new bridge for it. This is a pin bridge made with Brazilian rosewood that I got a hold of. So kind of mirrors exactly what the string throughs look like, except that now it's got pins. New bone saddle. Original nut, original frets on this one. I didn't really touch them because this thing was really kind of a closet queen. It was in great shape. It has had a neck reset. So the action is now a nice, comfortable 0 0.080 or so, 0 0.065 on the high E with lots of saddle left. So as this thing ages over the years, if it ever needs to be adjusted lower, it can be, no problem. New tuners. Got some of those um, kind of imitation Cluson three on a strip type tuners. Now the back and sides. I don't usually do a full refinish, but what I found with a lot of these harmonies is that the, the finish just looked muddy. And this mahogany is just gorgeous. It's just got such a nice grain to it. That what I've been doing with a couple of these is taking it right back down to the wood. And then I do a little bit of dyeing with it just to kind of get it into that reddish gold color that it should be. And then I just do a true oil wipe on that. So this is still open pour. This is not, you know, mirror smooth. You can look at it. It's got the grain of the wood itself. But I just think it looks gorgeous. And it sort of looks like a lot of these, what they did is they stained them brown and then they sprayed a whole bunch of urethane on top of it. And the brown stain just muds out that really pretty natural grain. The top itself, I didn't really do much to. It still has some of the original dings and wear and tear here. I did wipe it down with some true oil as well, so it's sealed up any of the rough patches. But this one was just in such good shape, it really didn't need much. So, at any rate, you know, what you end up with is what I call the poor man's triple O18. Solid mahogany and solid spruce, and this one's been revamped with the neck reset and everything. This is good to go for another 60 years. I think this is a 60s era model. Um, I could not find a date stamp inside anywhere. 
but based on the accoutrements of it, you know, with the adjustable truss rod, with the script Harmony logo, it's after 1962. So I'm going to just call it basic 60s. quarter nut two and a quarter uh two and five sixteenths string spacing i made this one a little wider when i made this bridge so it's very comfortable finger style Anyway, 1960s Harmony H1203, X-braced, maple bridge plate, new Brazilian rosewood bridge, neck reset, original frets, new tuners, refinished back and sides, back braces reduced, forgot to say that in my script. Four braces now instead of five, just for weight reduction. Side uh, reinforcement strips and shellac on the inside, so it's all finished up and looking pretty. Original pick guard. Don't see many of those when I get a hold of these. They always seem to have them torn off. At any rate, poor man's triple O eighteen, priced accordingly. It's a wonderful way to own a sixty year old all solid wood vintage all American made guitar. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. See ya.